guys, the street preachers have come out to your streets, to your cities, to your corners, because the churches that are made of bricks are keeping silent and are not telling you the truth about your soul, about eternity. So we put ourselves out on the line for your souls because we care about what's going to happen to you, especially even Mr. Profane Atheist. Yes, we even love you too, man. We care about the atheists as well. They're just wrong. Unless your worldview starts with God, you cannot know anything. Nothing. You cannot resolve to any knowledge claim whatsoever because an atheist cannot account for his own sense information to even be provisionally valid. Just provisionally valid. He's got nothing trustworthy that supports nothing. An atheist cannot appeal to God for his own sense information. Isn't that right, young man? I'm talking about how you know that God exists. How do you know? I know God exists because he put everything here for Amen. Yes, he did. Everything that you look at, creation itself, do you know? Do you know that you just became smarter than every atheist on the planet? Did you know that? You just became that much smarter because you're using your eyes to view the world. It's like you see, you know anything about cars? Cars, yeah, I know a lot about cars. Okay. So you like cars. What, what's, your, what's your dream car? Would you say like a, an engine that would blow you away? What would that be? Like what engine? For what, what car? American V8. Okay, let's say like a, like a V8 charger. Yeah. Okay. Hemi charger. A Hemi charger. Let's say you open the hood on this Hemi charger. What are you looking at? You're looking at a, 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 a complete, complicated, complex system, right? You know that, wow, somebody really put some work into this thing, right? You look at that, this engine, you see the carburetor, the cylinders, the spark plug, everything that you see it, it's screaming that a, that a master mechanic designed this very thing. Well, your body is very much the same exact way, right? Your body. You've got systems in your body, right? You've got a digestive system. You've got a respiratory system. Well, systems are indicative of mind. In other words, you look at these things and you know, just like you said, there's no way this came out of nothing. There's no way. So anything other than God would be an impossibility. But see, the reason people want to reject God, you know the number one reason? Because they know right and wrong. And every time that they wake up, every time they breathe, it's like they're reminded of the very respiratory system that they're breathing on. And the only way they know that this system exists is because God exists. The mastermind, just like the engine. Our, our bodies are the same. Our lungs, our heart, our veins. That we're a system. We're a master system. And the only way that that makes sense in the world we live in is because we live in a world that started with God. A mind. A mind behind this complex universe that we live in, our bodies, the complexity of our bodies, it's the same thing. Now, if I told you that engine that you're looking at, hey, by the way, somebody put a, somebody put a can of soup into a microwave and boom, you got this awesome V8 Hemi charger here that's, uh, you know, does 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. What would you say to me if I told you that, that this engine is so awesome that it came about through an explosion? You think I'm a little crazy, right? A little nuts. Doesn't make any sense. Well, that's the same thing how we view our world in which we live. The very eyes that you're seeing with, the very ears that you're hearing with, the reason that you can trust them, the reason that they are trustworthy is because there's a trustworthy designer, a maker. That's right, God. Apart from Him, you, ha you would have no reason to believe that anything that you're even seeing or hearing is even actually real. Think about that. So that in itself is the evidence that man has, that he knows God's existence. Just like the right and wrong that you do every day. You know that, you know that stealing from somebody is wrong. You didn't have to see anything written down to know that. You see? You didn't have to see anything written down. You know that stealing is wrong. Before your parents had to tell you, before you saw it written down, you know these things, but how do you know them? You know them because God exists. There's a law in your heart that tells you things are right, things are wrong. So that's how you know God exists. Just like he's getting angry, he's, he's, he's spewing profane words because this is truth of what I'm speaking. It's truth. And when your heart's not right with God, that truth makes you real angry. Because what happens is you're, 
I'm taking away the blanket. I'm showing how naked he really is. And he doesn't like that. So, but the real, the real the issue is, is to examine your own heart. Like I had to do years ago. See, I wasn't always a Christian. I was lost. I got involved in things I shouldn't have been involved with, but I knew in my mind and my conscience what I'm doing is wrong, man. I knew it in my heart, and I wanted to get right with God. You got a Bible at home? Yeah, I got a Bible. Do you? Yeah. Okay, read it, my man. The best advice, the best advice here, take one of these. The best advice that I can give you is to not let anyone try to tell you what, you know, what God is saying. You have the ability to read it for yourself. A church... Going to church, let me explain to you. Going to church doesn't make you a Christian. What God does desire is your heart. He desires your heart. And Jesus said that, what shall it profit you to gain the world? Like, you take a good look at the world. What does the world promote? Money, uh, the music, the lifestyle, the cars, this image, right? This image. And this image is going to make you real popular with everybody around you. But this image is something that God is not happy with. Okay, because it, 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 it corrupts your insight, corrupts this, this heart that God desires to have from you. The ways of the world will corrupt that. So God is saying, don't love those things. He says, love me instead, because he's really the author of life. And he's going to be the one to judge your life in the end, okay? God bless you, man. All right? You think about those things. Truth in the life. And no man comes to the Father but by him, right, ma'am? And he is all. Right. But what do we got to do to be saved? What must I do to be saved? Believe that he died for our sins on the cross. And what else? What else? Have faith. And what is faith? My name. So it's my daughter's middle name, but repentance is required. Oh, I ask. Not every day, but like a one time you repent, you stop sinning. That's the best thing. I haven't sinned. I've been too sick in 12 years. You're sick and you're smoking cigarettes, man. I know. What's what are your you doing? Name? My name is Eric. Hi, Eric. My name's Faith. Let me tell you a little story real quick. Uh-huh. This is back at 96, because I have a lot. I, I talk to God constantly. I was very madly in love with my ex-husband when we mm-hmm. broke up. The Bible says that, the, that the God hears the prayer of, a, of the fervent prayer of a righteous man. We're a righteous woman. So the way that God hears aren't really the words. It's how we're living towards Him. And is, our, living... is our faith a reality? And are, we, are we really walking a holy life apart from the world? Eric, that's what, that's what matters. Problems, okay? I have a nightmare. All I do is just stay in my senior high rise. Right. That's all I do. And smoke and cigarettes, then, Okay, what that's you, the only bad thing well, I do. what are you do? doing? It's the only bad thing But there should I be do. no bad things. None. It's the only bad But why? But I have a real good heart. Even my enemies will say, you got a great heart. Right. So if I can please God that way. Well, the Bible says that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. My faith, let me leave you with this. That the only faith that really God honors is an obedient one, free from sin, and free. I'm obedient. I right. haven't even been with a man in 14 years. Well, that's that's. that's I'm good. Yeah. I go to church. I do everything. A right. pure heart is what God demands. Okay. Purity, purity, true purity. I try. That means when 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 the doors are closed and it's only faith in the room, your and heart's pure and you're doing holy things. And it is. And I have. I believe. I always stand by, do unto the golden rule, do unto others, if yeah, you wish others, correct. do unto you. And I live by that. I live by that. But you for faith. God let me live. He's been very good to I understand his mercies are, are new every day. I said, God, please, help me, help me. He took that love out of my heart I had for that maniac I was married to. And I want him to help me with the cigarettes. Dump him. That's all you got to do. And start living holy. And you know what else? You start doing things for the kingdom faith. You don't have to lock yourself in a room. Let your light shine before men so that they may glorify your Father who is in heaven, correct? God, I just came back from my gynecologist. The Bible says that blessed is the man who perseveres under trial. For once he has been approved, once he's been approved, he will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. That's James chapter 1 verse 12. And I do. So we have to love him with everything. That means not hanging on to little things. You're great. You understand? Oh, I wish I was as smart as you when I was your well, age. Well, I'm not smart. Yes, All I have is this are. standard of God. That's it. Yes, you are. I put God first now. Well, and in have, everything. And have been, and everything I do for the past 14 years. When I was married, right. I put him first. But faith, that, that means so that it's, it's free from, com- you got to be free from compromise. Now I don't have to put anybody first, only him. Right. Only him. Well, you got to continue to serve him. you got to live holy. The Bible says without, without holiness, faith, no well, man's going to see the Lord. Church Forget church. Churches are no good today, faith. And I don't mean to be... Yeah, I'm 
critical. But what they're saying and what this teaches faith are two different things. Okay? Uh, praying the rosary faith is not a good thing. And I, and, I, and I just want you to hear me out for a minute, uh -huh. okay? In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus said, when you pray, uh -huh. he says, don't use vain repetition as a heathen who mm -hmm. don't know God. Well, but that's, well, that's really what it is. But I do go what do you to want your heart? WTN, and if they're saying the rosary, I say it with Don't. Get that out of your life, faith. Mm -hmm. It's a deception. It's not mm -hmm. real. It's a counterfeit faith. I tell you with all the love of my heart. I okay. used to. I understand the Catholic faith. Mm -hmm. I was raised really Catholic. I did the first communion. Mm -hmm. I had the you know Catholic. the confirmation, the uh -huh. whole nine yards. Uh -huh. But what did it do for me, as a man growing up, committing sin in my life? Mm -hmm. Nothing. I wasn't righteous with God. I wasn't right with Him. Mm -hmm. It took my heart to be broken. Mm -hmm. And what I realized was, I can't trust my soul mm -hmm. to someone who's just going to tell me what I need to hear mm -hmm. I want to know mm -hmm. I need to know and I need to know this Jesus his love letter to us that's his love letter it's to his us. instructions for us to know who he is and right. more importantly his standard on how he's going to judge us right because faith and we're going to scared we should be I'm scared the Bible because says that we're going to stand before him I and I had boyfriends husbands that you know I say this to you with and all I humility, faith, and with all love in my heart. Mm -hmm. The Catholic Church is a counterfeit faith. It's it is. Scary. Look at the history. I'm sure you know more than I do. What about, about the history? The, the Bible, the war that they talk about. I think it's so horrible that some of these priests, like that priest that went over and it's like yes. little kids. That it just, it, Not just I one. I even think. Faith. It Multitudes. Like it through my heart Multitudes. Do something like that. Think about so, this. That Catholic Church. Are they the whore that talks about yes. the Bible? Is that the whore? Yes. I don't know how priests can do I don't even and know any human being. It says they're right. getting drunk on the blood of the martyrs. Do you know why, Faith? Because they've murdered millions of people. The Catholic Church has through the centuries. Millions, Faith. Why? Because they would not adhere to the infallibility of the Pope. That's why. That's what they did to the Jewish people. I, uh, 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 um, I can't think of it because I'm 63 and not that the, the Auschwitz. Look what Hitler did. And yeah. the whole world stood by yeah. in the post, too. Yes. And let it happen. Yes. You know, I have a very high regard for Jewish people because they're God's chosen people. You better have a real high regard. But for they need to recognize their Savior who died and for them. They're starting to come Well, I way. hope they do. But do you know what's hindering it, Faith? You know what's hindering it? As if they look at the examples like the Catholic Church and they say, you see, the whole thing's been alive. Look how wicked they are. Mm -hmm. Look at the things they have done. Mm -hmm. They've been a horrific testimony, not only to true Christians, but to the Jews, because that's not biblical Christianity. It's not faith. The that's best the thing Jews you can do is get out of there. To recognize that Jesus is the Messiah. Well, finally, well, I still have very high regards from the God's chosen people. Well, they were through because of Abraham originally, but... He was justified. What church do you go to, Eric? Right here. Uh, I'm the church of the of the corner of the street. Okay. Good for you. I don't go to buildings. I don't believe that buildings are the church faith. I believe that Jesus said that you are living stones. Just like Paul, when that I watched that um, that whole series uh, on the Bible. I like Paul because Paul was the one. He was bad. He was this. And man, when Jesus uh, appeared in front of him, I can't think. Paul, of yeah. Road. And Damascus. He, yeah, he went on and on and on, and now Paul wrote all of those books. Yes, but because but you remind me of Paul. Well, in a way, I kind of am, but he was. Although I don't think he was bad people. Oh, I, I truly was, but that's the point. Is that in Matthew, if you read when 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 they when uh when the angel told Mary that you will call his name Jesus, uh -huh. said, for he will save his people from their sin. That if he saves us, faith, that we're no longer in them. If I pull somebody out of a burning car, faith, mm -hmm. I save them from that fire. They're not in that fire any longer. But if they're still burning in the fire, then I didn't save them from anything. Mm -hmm. So if Jesus saved me from my sin, then mm -hmm. I cannot continue in them. Mm -hmm. It says, how shall we who have died to sin continue any longer in it? So no, no. I went and I got the book, The Bible for Dummies. <laughs> this is the way you read, like, little things. Well, like, what I read here, Faith... It's, that's hard to read. No, it's not. So now I got The Bible for Dummies. Well, this is a New American Standard. It's not, it doesn't, it's not a thou with and... See the, yeah, see, that's hard. You understand? It's been through a lot. Okay, but you I can't read what's a lot. the name of this New book. American Standard. I'll look for that one, too. I got The Bible for Dummies And Faith, right eat now. it as if it was your last meal. Please. Thanks, Eric. I'll see you. All right. Bye, Eric. Take care, Faith.